Good morning, everybody. It's a new day and a new start. Each day feels like its own little uh, lifetime for me. Like it's a fresh start each day, and uh, I just never know what's going to going to occur that day. Like the slate's been wiped clean, and uh, I don't know what email will come in, or what phone call, or what text, or what private message. And uh, I don't know. Each morning, I, I'm filled with excitement about what can transpire maybe nothing maybe some interesting stuff so each day is each start of a new day is uh, exciting for me i got the coffee going if you've uh you know been following you know along with me you're you're we were healing we're growing we're learning and uh for me, I needed to develop uh, a moral compass. I had to get my moral compass back, you know, over the years with drug use and and just sex, sex, sex and pornography. Uh, you just it just erodes that moral compass of yours. And uh, you know, spirituality was lacking in my life uh, since since age twelve. I went through life angry at God. And, uh, you know, finding uh, faith again and spirituality and uh, uh, having a moral compass return to myself. Um, you know, that's, uh, you know, goes hand in hand with self-discipline, I, I feel. And, you know, it's too many people, you know, once they have a a moral compass and spirituality, they use that to judge others. And to me, your moral compass and your spirituality should be used to improve yourself, not to look down at others or judge others. And you know, even with all the uh, transformation in my life, uh, people on that Soft White Underbelly podcast and, and I don't know. I got a sneaky suspicion they might be Catholic. Sneaky suspicion. But, uh, you know, they tell me, like, you know, because I mentioned I moved in with my girlfriend. They're like, Clark, 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 you have to. You can't pick which scriptures you want to live by. You have to live by them all. You should not be living in sin. What? 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 Uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say to people like that. I know what to say to people like that. Um, geez, Louise, I don't know. I don't know. Just, uh, I would point all of you who want to judge others with your moral superiority uh, to what Jesus said about judgment and judging others. And how you should not be worried about the little tiny, tiny, tiny speck of sawdust I might have in my eye. That little tiny piece of wood that you can't even see. And yet you're worried about it. And here you have this whole two by four board sticking out of your eye. And you don't even care about that. You just care about the little tiny speck of sawdust in my eye. Ay, 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 ay. Don't get so morally high and spiritually uplifted that now you can pick out the flaws in everybody. It's not what it's here to do. It's here to lift you up. It's here to take your life in a new direction. It's here to be a compass for you to live by. Not to judge others. <laughs> uh, the, Bible, the Bible says about living together. Actually, it says zero about living together if you're not married. It says... Paul says in the New Testament, there should be no sexual immorality whatsoever. So you find that two people in love living together is sexual immorality? Really? Eh? 
do you read the Bible? Do you know what he was talking about back then? What was going on? Sex with animals. Incest was rampant. Do you read? Do you read what was going on back then? Who the the the, the idols they worshipped? <laughs> Just uh, that's what he was talking about with his sexual immorality. Not two people in love living under the same roof. Uh, I don't know. That's why I get this little sneaky suspicion it might be Catholic people who uh just trying to lay that catholic guilt on me so it's not gonna work and that's not what the that's not what spirituality or religion is for you know what you know what the bible do you read the bible do you people really read it do you know what it says in the bible what religion should do it says you should take care of the widows and the children that is perfect religion Looking after widows and orphans. Not sitting and judging each one of your neighbors. So, you want to be morally superior and spiritually superior? Go look after orphans and widows. Okay? That's all. <laughs> Just uh, as as you grow and you learn and you get your morality back into a groove and your spirituality into a groove, let it just uplift your life and direct your life. You don't become the the judge for others' lives. There, if somebody asks me. For spiritual help or moral help, by all means, I would give it to them and share with them. But for me to sit and look at someone who's addicted to drugs or someone who's trans or gay or um, whatever it may be, it's not. I'm not here to be morally superior to, to how they're living. They want help to find the, uh, their path in life, I'll by all means give them help, but I'm not here to judge them and to worry about that little tiny speck of sawdust in their eye. That speck of sawdust isn't bugging me, so don't let it bug you. All right, that was it for today. Not too painful. Are you ready for clicker time? Have a great day, everybody. Peace. No, I even I even brought it up from underneath the table and pointed it right at it, and it just it just <laughs> it just doesn't want to go. Later. <laughs>